Welcome to Sidza.com. Effect of the pressure change on the chemical equilibrium. As per the Lee-Shatley's principle, if we have an equilibrium system and we try to impose any kind of a citrus on the equilibrium, the system will react in a way so as to relieve that stress. Which means that if we impose any kind of a change on an equilibrium, equilibrium will react in a way so that it can undo the change. This is as per the Lee Shackley's principle. Now let's try to understand the effect of the pressure on the state of an equilibrium. Suppose we have a system here, A plus B, which reacts and forms the product C, and the product C again decomposes back to the A and the B reactants. Now if I decrease the volume here, on this system here, the pressure inside is going to increase. Now when the pressure will increase, as per the Lee Shatley's principle, it says that whatever change we impose on a system, equilibrium will react in a way, it will behave in a way so that it can relieve that change. That means if I increase the pressure, the equilibrium will react in a way so that it can decrease the pressure. Correct? When I increase the pressure, it will behave, it will react in a way so that it can decrease the pressure. But the question is how the pressure can be decreased, right? How this pressure inside the system here can decrease. Pressure can decrease only when you have less number of the gases moles. Correct. When you have less number of the gases moles, when the gases, you know, molecules decrease here, the pressure inside is going to increase. So that means when you, in, when you increase the pressure on an equilibrium system, equilibrium will react in a way so that you know the pressure will decrease and that pressure is going to decrease only when you have less number of the gases moles that means it will react in a way so that the gases number of the moles will decrease let's suppose here we have the reactant a which is a gaseous molecule and b also a gaseous system and the product also c which is a gas now looking at the number of the gaseous molecules here in the reactant side and the product side. We have here two gases moles in the reactant side and the one gaseous, you know, particle, one mole of the gaseous system in the product side. So that means we have more gaseous particles in the reactant side and less gaseous particles in the product side. So when you increase the pressure, when we impose, uh, you know, a change of the pressure, when, we, when you decrease the volume so that the pressure inside increases, now the question is the equilibrium is gonna react in a way so that the pressure will decrease, right? And therefore the equilibrium will shift in a direction where you have less number of gases moles, right? So we have less number of gases moles in the product side. There we have a one, you know, gases mole, and the reactants on the on the reactant side we have two gases moles. So that means when you increase the pressure on this type of a system over here. Right, when you increase the pressure, the equilibrium will react, you know, in the forward direction. The forward direction will be favored. That means, you know, this forward reaction will, you know, become faster. So, A and more A and the B will combine and they form the C because when more A and the B combines and they form the C, the total number of the gases molecules will decrease because you have here two gases moles in the reactant side and you have here, you know, one gases mole in the product side. So, that means in this case, if you increase the pressure, the equilibrium is gonna shift in the forward direction. Now what if you will decrease the pressure, right? When you will decrease the pressure, if you decrease the pressure, the equilibrium has to react in the way so that it can undo the change. Means it will try to increase the pressure, correct? And how can you, you know, increase the pressure? How can a system increase the pressure? The pressure inside can only increase when you have more number of the gases moles, right? So that means decreasing the pressure, right? Decreasing the pressure will shift the equilibrium in a direction where you have more number of the gases moles. So that means when you decrease the pressure, the equilibrium will go in the backward direction. So more of the C uh, compo compound will basically decompose into the A and B. So let's take some more examples here to understand it very clearly. We have another system, another gaseous system, carbon monoxide and the hydrogen which you know combine this form of the methane and the water we have total number of the gases moles on the reactant side it is four right we have four so we have four gases moles and the product side we got two gases moles now 
what if you will increase the pressure right so if I suppose increase here if I increase the pressure the system will react in a way so that the pressure can decrease and the pressure can decrease only when you have a lesser number of gases moles that means when you increase the pressure the equilibrium will shift it will move in a direction where you have less number of gases moles so that means for this system here for this reversible system increasing the pressure will favor the forward reaction the system the equilibrium will move in the right direction more of the reactants actually they will uh, you know combine and form the products because four gases moles they react and they form only two gases moles so number of the gases molecules in the forward direction that decreases and if i decrease the pressure here right suppose you know you decrease the pressure then how this equilibrium will shift right the equilibrium will shift in a direction where you have more number of, number of the gases moles so that means the equilibrium will shift in the backward direction right so the backward direction will, will be favored so increasing the pressure will shift the equilibrium in the forward direction and decreasing the pressure will actually here decrease you know uh, shift the equilibrium in the backward direction let's take a one way example see we have here a system between N2 and the O2 and all of these are the gases components this is your gases this is a particle this is also the gas this is also the gas now look at the number of the gases you know moles in the reactant side the reactant side we have we got two gases moles right and the product side it got you know we got the two so remember when you have the same number of the gases moles pressure has no effect correct the pressure has no effect why because you know when you increase the pressure or decrease the pressure you you know the system is not gonna shift in any direction right the equilibrium will neither move in the forward direction or the backward direction correct why it won't it you know in, you know change because you have the same number of the gases moles you know if it moves in the forward direction still the number of the gases moles will remain same and if it moves in the backward direction Suppose NO, it will decompose into N2 and O2. Again, you know, the same number of the gases moles uh, will be there. So that means if you have a reversible system where you have the same number of the gases uh, particles from the reactant side and the product side, pressure has no effect. So increasing the pressure or decreasing pressure has practically no effect on the equilibrium, right? So there will be the no effect on the equilibrium. It won't change in, in any direction. Let's take one more example here okay we have here a system pcl5 decomposes to the pcl3 and the chlorine so we have here a one mole of a gases you know reactant and we got here two gases you know moles and now what if you increase the pressure for this system if you increase the pressure right that means that the equilibrium will you know react in a way so that the pressure can decrease so that means for this particular system increasing the pressure if you increase the pressure then what will happen the equilibrium will shift in the backward direction correct because you have less number of you know uh, the gases moles in the backward direction two moles of the gases will combine they form the you know one mole of a gases reactant here so that means increasing the pressure will shift the equilibrium in the backward direction and for the same system if you decrease the pressure right if you decrease the pressure then what will happen equilibrium will try to increase the pressure and the pressure can increase only when you have more number of the gases moles so that means it will shift in the forward direction correct this system will move in the forward direction here okay now another you know system we have here the calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide and we have here a one gases mole right and we don't have any gases component in the product side there is no gases component in the product side now what will happen if you increase the pressure right again it will move in a direction where you have less number of the gases moles right isn't it you have one mole gas here and you don't have any gases component from the product side so that means for this system here for this particular system if you increase the pressure the system will move in the forward direction right the system will move in the forward direction for for the increase in the pressure because when you increase the pressure it will try to decrease and the pressure can decrease only when you have you know more number of the gases molecules be converted into the direction where you have less actually you don't have any gases components so when the forward direction you know will 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 occur the gases uh, particles will decrease inside the system so that will decrease the pressure right which means that increasing the pressure for this particular system will shift the equilibrium in the forward direction and decreasing the pressure okay when you decrease the pressure 
So decreasing pressure means equilibrium will try to increase the pressure and the pressure can only increase when you have more and more of the gases molecules. So that means now the reaction will move in the backward direction here because you have no gases system here and you have one gases system here right and that means the calcium carbonate will which is a solid it will break down into carbon dioxide into and calcium oxide so when you have more gas carbon dioxide the pressure will, is, is going to increase correct that means decreasing the pressure will shift the equilibrium in the backward direction so that means more of the decomposition of the calcium carbonate can increase if you decrease the pressure and the last equation here we have iron reacts with the you know this uh, the H2 molecules, the water vapors here, and form with the Fe, Fe3O4, which is a solid. This is also a solid. We have here a gases, you know, system, four gases moles, and you have here again the four gases moles. So the number of the gases, you know, moles is same. That means what? That means the pressure has no effect. Whether you increase the pressure or you decrease the pressure it is not gonna change right the system will neither move in the forward direction nor in the backward direction hope you got it thanks for watching the video bye for now